Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Serious Strategy Gamer and it is Friday, so we are returning to our Fridays for Future Let's Play of Fate of the World, the climate change game, where you can see a lot of things are happening in the world. Most importantly, in Europe we have founded the GEO headquarters, so the Global Earth Organization has now a permanent headquarter in Europe. Now that is, on the one hand, it's a little bit risky because if Europe does kick us out, if we are losing support over here, we would have, we would lose the game basically. Uh, so that is one of our lose objectives. If we are banned from the Geo headquarter region, that would be pretty bad. But yeah, it doesn't seem like that for now. Uh, on the other hand, that does give us uh, access to some very fancy new technologies. And I would like to get the International Space Program over here because that will allow us to do fun things in space. And I think that's going to be great. Uh, let's have a look at the other news over here. So oil, there's still a big oil shortage that we definitely do need to deal with. We are do have some good storm defenses though, so that's nice to see. A little bit less sickness, that's also good. Tech is booming. A little bit problems with our geoengineering and we are expecting some storms. So let's see whether we can do some more storm defenses. We could do some adaptation. I don't think that's something that we do need right now. Wildlife conservation would be great. Late retirement, transport efficiency, job sharing. Yeah, that's the thing. The uh, thing, the unemployment over here is still pretty high. So we do need to deal with that. Also, the commercial sector is it's pretty high. Forestry change, also not that great. On the other hand, I'm mostly worried about the oil. So what are we using oil for? Transport. It's nearly all transport. What are we using our energy for or what are we uh, using to generate energy it's a mix of different things a very high aspect of renewables which I definitely like so that's great in terms of technology we could get concentrated photovoltaic cells that might be helpful certainly the protect land and Fo soils act would be also pretty good for us we might want to do some turbine taxation so that would give us Less support over here, but that would allow us to run a little bit more money or, or buy more agents all over the world. Probably be limited to a single round though. We are still materialists, so I think the wildlife conservation is probably not a good idea for now. So you know what, let's do the Tobin tax. We haven't been taxing Europe for a while. It's going to cost us some support. But I think all in all we might be alright over here. Yeah, and that does does nicely pay for things, so that's great. Right, uh, let's do care about the biggest polluters though, and China is still one of them. Uh, in, with about 9,000 megatons uh, of CO2 equivalents, most of which come from the energy sector, and the energy sector is mostly due to... Uranium. I think I, I think this is a bit of a fluke that we do see uranium being reduced over here. Uh, I think that's mainly because we are being more efficient, and I think that's what this difference over here is. So that that's a little bit not a great way, I would say, to to display this. But I think that's going to be okay. We are mostly using the e uh, electricity in our industry, uh, which we can't do that much about. I think. So in terms of energy, what could we do then? It's not much. We could decline oil power. Might not be the worst idea. Probably might mean we are using... You know, it's, wildlife might be nice. It's all, always nice to, to do this. Ooh, we could token tax over here. I think that would be a great idea because people do simply love us. So I think that's a that's a decent thing to do. We also should be mindful of the drought, though. That we are seeing here. Meters get smart. Ooh, that's nice. Yeah, but the drought. Well, we could only adapt to that. So that wouldn't be necessarily that helpful. Yeah, so I think all in all, this does good things for us. You know what? Um, I think what we could do, though, is... Commit to nuclear first. I'm not sure whether this does anything, but do this second. And then lastly, do the wildlife conservation. Yeah, I think this is this is a good way to go forward. Well, we could do the transport efficiency, though. Let's see, what are we burning 
oil for mostly energy production and a little bit for transport. And we are committing to nuclear. All of these are very good things. So yeah, I think that has to stay that way. Let's have a look at India. Okay, so people don't like us over here. And that is, yeah, so oil shortage still, blast furnaces. You're fighting some droughts. Oh, wait a minute, is that... It's no indication of further droughts, though. So we'll have to think about that. Old nuclear reactors are being replaced. Peace reigns, that's good to see. But yeah, a lot of sickness. And more sickness. Sickness is a very, very big issue over here. Sick? 0% really. Still, it must be being pushed up by our electricity generation from various sources. Specifically, we are burning a lot of oil over here. On the other hand, nuclear is expanding, so that's great to see because oil is dropping. And yeah, there's a little bit of a discrepancy here, so I think that's okay. GDP per capita is also growing, so that's nice to see. Uh, we should definitely do something popular over here, I think. Right. Oh, wildlife conservation would actually be popular over here. That'd be nice. Transport efficiency. Storm defenses. You know what? Let's do wildlife conservation. And all in all, I think that's a, that's a good mix-up of things. How do we look here in terms of population? 1.5 billion still. Mostly elderly people now and it's decreasing. It's good to see. And the working age population is not actually decreasing so that too is great. Good. I think the next big one is South Asia, South Africa. Of course, undersupplied dude. That's of course the thing that we looked at uh, in the huh, deforestation. Capital index goes down. That's not great though. Highly unpopular on one child policy. Still people do like us somewhat over here, so I'm, I'm gonna call that a win. And it's a billion people here too. Mostly elderly now. Might have to raise the uh, retirement age at some point. But you're very close to, to being uh, over 2000, so that would be great. Build improved storm defenses. I think that was one of the things that we were being told over here, right? So storm could have been worse, but it was still bad. So this is something that we do. Ooh, we should not only look at popular options here. Vegetarian revolution might not be too bad. So water usage would go down. I think there is a bit of water stress in South Africa. Yeah, a bit, but not too bad. And the deforestation still is an issue. So let's protect the land and soil over here. Go for the vegetarian revolution. It's a balanced lookout over here overall, so I think we should be fine like this. One child policy, we can still support that. Do we see anything about the retirement age over here? We do not. So yeah, I think that's going to be okay. Who else is the biggest polluter? So we have got China, India, South Africa, Middle East. Let's look at the Middle East and Russia because these are definitely areas. You're very stable. You're joyous. That's great to see. Um, where we do need the oil from, basically. Carbon cash put to good use. That's nice to see. Co-generation. Peace reigns. Nice to see. Water stress. Water stress is an issue. Energy efficiency. Good, good. All in all, pretty good stats. I'm mostly worried about the oil, though. Anything else we should be getting over here? Could get biofuels. Well, all in all, it's actually okay. Water management program might be a good good choice. Reduce the water stress a little bit. Water stress is pretty high. What is it coming from? I'm guessing agriculture. Not only. Mostly, but not only. So, we could either go for something like biochar. Yeah, but we do need this, don't we? Okay, so let's drop out of the business household regulations for a second and get the water program. 
but I think that's a decent choice over there. And then we have, oh, Russia, we wanted to do because, yes, we are. Ooh, we are not actually pushing up the... Ah, but I think there was not that much oil here, was there? Ultimately, you didn't produce that much oil extracted. Why not, though? This is not much. Tar sands. Oil extracted. North America, Middle East, Latin America a tiny bit. But yeah, Russia really isn't that relevant. Have you got all technologies that you need for that? Advanced drilling. Yeah, you do. Okay, so we unfortunately cannot rely on Russia then. Everything is undersupplied. Yes, yes, yes. Stability, peace, all of that is great. Healthcare, storms. Okay, so do we... Can we do something about these storms? Oh yeah, we definitely can. Okay, so yeah, let's do it. By the way, can we Tobin tax here? We could. Eh, people don't don't love us necessarily, so I think that's going to be okay. Right, who else? South Asia and Latin America. I think South Asia is is increasing its its carbon footprint all of the time. Yeah, they're going up and up and up. Energy industry. It's really mixed bag. This is this is one of the problem areas where. You don't have a single cause to, to blame, so it's a little bit more difficult to do this over here. Eco campaign definitely is a good choice. In terms of technologies, we do have smart grids, that's nice. Ideally, maybe we should rush photovoltaic cells. How much how much potential do we have in energy usage over here from renewables? Massive solar potential? Moderate wind. It's not that great. Fusion, of course, is, is always very nice. This is not much. This is not much at all. And you also don't have any water management. Well... Transport efficiency. It's very difficult to do something over here. What, what's your GDP, actually? You're very close to getting a breakthrough. Hmm. Difficult one. Really difficult one. Okay, let's try to acquire CCS. And then we can make our way over to full to cells, maybe. In this sort of midterm. I think that's going to be okay. Then we might buy a four slot over here. Yeah, I think that's that's decent. We are Tobin taxing so many people, so I think this is okay. And that will allow us to do a couple of more things. Namely, I would really like to go for the conservation method measures. Because, well, if we uh, have a look over here. So, if we lose the landmark species, we'd be uh, losing 50 points. So, yeah, I think, I think this is okay. This is not great, but it's okay. Latin America? How are things over here? Unstable. Uh, that's not great. But the eco campaign is in full swing, so that's nice to see. Good direction overall. Situation stabilizing. It's actually pretty good. Not that many news. How do we look in terms of the economy? Yeah, it's pretty good actually. So can we play, I wonder, business and household carbon regulations? Yes, we can. We cannot play the industrial one, so I'm thinking that we probably did manage to do that fairly well. And you know what? You love us, so we're going to conserve the wildlife over here as well. Ah, we could acquire smart grids. But you're going to get that in three turns anyway, and it's fairly expensive to buy that, so not going to do that for now. Jump over to Northern Africa, where a lot of things are happening. Most importantly, the anti-drought efforts are working well. We have established some re reservations. That's also nice to see. And because you are balanced, there's some support per turn, which is very good. Nationalism. Whew. Yeah, because they're climate immigrants. Okay, interesting. Some water stress. That's not great. 
Peace reigns. Nice. Storm. Storm is not good. But water stress. Okay, so let's see what we can do about the water stress. I'm guessing we have built up all the infrastructure already. So we could do biochar. Let's have a look where that water usage is coming from. It's really high stress, I mean, for, for very little water usage. Agricultural water usage. Still the main thing, so... Maybe subsidize biochar. Agricultural water usage would go down. Agricultural energy usage would go up, though. But I do think it's what we have to do. Smart grids over here. Would take a l very long time to acquire otherwise. What's your what's your GDP? Pretty bad. Way below the thresholds that we do need. But you know what? You're balanced, and this would mean you can play. This is a good place to play the agricultural, the vegetarian revolution because it means a lot less water usage. I think this is a good good card to play over here. Yeah, I like it. And then what can we do in terms of money, integration program? Well, we could do the transportation. It's not going to give us more money though. One child policy maybe? Let's look at the birth rate over here. It's only 700 million, so it's not that much, but 8% still of global population. Mostly elderly people. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting set of cards that we are playing over here. Oh well. Uh, let's have a look at North America. Seems like everything is going fairly well. So yeah, I think, I think we can be happy with these set of cards. Do we acquire any new technology? Next turn we're gonna get high yield crops, that's good to see. Quantum computing is also around the corner. Advanced turbines might be nice. But overall I think this is a good set. We do need the oil production, so... Could of course think about turbine taxing over here as well. People do like us quite a bit by now. But yeah, we do need the oil production. I think we don't want to switch out of the technologies. We do need the cap and trade. Deploy, yeah. All of these are are very relevant for us, so I don't think we should switch out of them. So that only leaves, I think, Japan and Oceania, so Japan is very unstable. Not that great. And we are being hit by more droughts. And people obviously are... Permanent Relief program is going well. Forestry is not that great. Peaceful protests. There's no stability. The stability here is a big issue. And storms. Okay, so let's buy another slot in Japan. So we're buying quite a lot of slots here, but we do need to provide security assistance because if Japan falls, we'd be losing our robotics research. And this is a little bit weird. Normally you get these from the left to the right. Uh, but we do have advanced turbines now and we will get um, the benthi benthic depressurization next turn. And then the desalination sometime after that. Uh, but that will be extremely useful, I think, at least to... And North Africa. And we're gonna get that in 32 years, which is fairly soon. Also gonna get photovoltaic cells, so that's nice to see. Yeah, but this is a decent play over here. And in Oceania, people do like us a little bit more, that I appreciate a lot. High yield breakthrough crops, that's good to see. Forestry is a big issue, so wildfires in Australia, who would have guessed? And there are more storms coming in. So, with the high yield crop strains, you could get these and agriculture would be uh, performing better. Uh, agriculture would also be using less water, which would be nice. Uh, but after two turns, there's a 25% uh, chance uh, to expire. And that means uh, that there is a minus 20% uh, modifier if until we renew it. So this does cost us some money and it might cost us some money to renew. Uh, but overall, it might be a good play, at least in the areas where the water usage is a big issue. Other than that though, that's not really the case in Australia, so what we might actually want to do here, since you guys are still materialist, I think we could think about, well next turn we, we might be deploying aerosols, and I think that's a good idea. Australia for whatever reason is one of the areas where we are typically seeing a lot of climate change refugees. 
It's going. It's been coming down very significantly, so we might actually end this. On the other hand, did I not see job sharing? Yeah, so the labor market seems to be fairly stressed overall. You know what, let's do the business uh, regulations because everyone likes having more efficient homes and that's good to see. I think in Europe we can buy another slot. Should be fairly good overall. Do we want to acquire any particular technology? The photovoltaic things might be good. The high yield crops we're going to get in two turns as, as is the case for the aerosol. So that doesn't necessarily need to happen super fast. We're doing materials research over here as well, so that's good. Quantum computing is very far away. So only really the photovoltaic cells. Anything else we might want to do over here? I don't necessarily think so. Yeah, people are gonna hate us for this anyway, so let's not quite let's not do something with the wildlife over here as we are here. Some transport efficiency is always good for Europe. So that does leave us st still some money left, so that's nice to see. But you know what? Actually then in Europe we might want to skip the Tobin tax and just go for the conservation instead and that still leaves us with some money. So I think that's going to be okay. Right, where do we want to invest that money then? I'm, I'm tempted to go for Southern Africa. Southern Africa is such a torn and twisted place. We can't do that much over here. But man, the, just the population is growing extremely quickly. It's leveling off a little. Well, that's due to the one-shot policy. But the emissions were coming up extremely fast over here. And that's mostly due to electricity. And electricity is due to coal. That's really, really bad. Okay, so let's get that. Any water shortage? Water stress is fairly okay, actually, over here. Don't necessarily need to do this. We're gonna get that next turn anyway, which is good. And we can aim at this. We could also just start to go for the advanced turbines. And maybe... You know what? Let's do that. Let's go for the... Acquire Geoengineering. Oh, okay, we can't. It's a little too expensive. That's unfortunate. Okay, let's let's do it this way. Let's advance, acquire the Geo thingy. And that leaves us with what options? Coal-free industry, discourage meat consumption. I mean, you're balanced. And improved storm defenses. They're all, always nice. Switch to organic farming might also be okay. Less gas, yeah, less oil. All of this. Less water. Also less GDP. How much is GDP over here anyway? Well, quite a bit actually. Local food is okay. Performance is very hindered. <laughs> How much are we using for synthetic crops? It's really, really little. It's extremely low. 300 terawatt hours from synthetic oils. It's nothing. The global oil market is 60,000, so yeah. Okay, let's switch to organic farming here and that should be alright. It does leave us with very little money. I don't think there's any very cheap technology that we're using anywhere where we could be or want to do something more expensive. So yeah, I think this is good. Uh, let's go to the year 2070 then. Oil. Oil supply and demand are continuing to, to go further from each other. Temperature is still rising, 2.1 degrees now. Arctic methane release, very bad. Invasion. So, all in all, pretty much within expectations. 
People do overall like us quite a bit more. Except for North Africa, there something happened. But yeah, that's good to see. Right, let, let's have a look at the emissions then. Emissions are apparently coming up, aren't they? No, they are coming down, slowly but surely. Middle East is falling a little bit. China, Southern Africa increasing, just uh, 700 per turn. Europe is pretty meaningless by now. India is still increasing, of course. Yeah, Southeast Asia is increasing. It's really nice to, if, if you remember 2020, North America and Europe were among the biggest polluters. Now you can barely even tell them apart. Um, but still, China has a very hard time reducing its carbon footprint. And just imagine if we hadn't, hadn't been so aggressive in Europe and North America. You can see all of these negative effects. Austerity, objections, urban sprawl. Things aren't going great. Storm devastates parts, parts of India. Really not great. And the oil production is, is going to be a very high problem. So we'll have to deal with that a little bit more aggressively. But for now, I thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye bye.